Good afternoon. This afternoon, what we're going to take a look at is adding some CSS to the Bubble project. This happens to be a template that I built for Pro no Coders No Code School. And what we're going over today is doing a clip path to be able to get this photo to cut off this corner. And then also viewport height so that whenever we resize the window, it's still going to take up the height of the viewport. But then you scroll and everything else is, is there. Okay. I'll put that back. Now, oh, before we do that, let's go over this hero section. So this is a group. This group is a row. And there's no min width and no min height. And it's fit height to content. Within this row are two column groups. The column group on the right has the photo as a background. So under appearance, remove style, background style, image. And then under layout, we have uh, uncheck fixed width. Min width is 320 pixels. Max width is 55%. And I'm making it 100% height, just so it'll show up. We're overriding that in our uh, style sheet. And then this content group on the left. This is min width 320, max width 45%, and no min height. Oh, and it has a row gap of 24 with content container alignment being center. Okay. Now, Bubble did release an experiment with how the page renders. So we're going to turn that on. Oh, before we turn that on, sorry about that. Let's go take a look at what the code was. So you can see that you know everything's a div. They did render h1s, it's h1s, and if this was an actual image, it would be an image using those tags. Other than that, everything is a div. These are the classes that they add on. Everything has a bubble element. So when we target things, we have to target th this. So for instance, when we ch want to change on the light to dark, the background we're targeting this page class. And then with the text, we're targeting this text class. And you notice that they have inline styles. And so this is the part that they're trying to put everything into more of a style sheet. So I'm going to turn that experimental feature on. Let's do the refresh and you'll see that, I don't know if you noticed in the body there was a class, or there was a style that is no longer there. This is our main page div, so it still has the page but it no longer has inline styles. And so let's take a look at the H1. So here we have the H1. We're still going to target the text, but there's no inline styles. They're using whatever this class is. And they did say you could target it, but it's kind of random, and especially right now with it being experimental, 
you probably don't want to target it. So that's why we want to go and get the plugin classify. And we want to install that. Now I'm just going to go to the plugin page for a minute in case you haven't installed this yet and haven't seen it. We'll go to the service link. And this is where he tells you how to use it. And so it's pretty simple. These are some of the old, or the original version. This is the new version. So add class. You can add a couple of classes at the same time. You can remove a class. You can still add IDs and then add your class or classes. You can add and remove a class within the same thing. So that's pretty easy. So back into bubble. Oops, I was already there, wasn't I? Nope, there it is. Done. So we're done. We'll go back to the page. Now you want to make this a re reusable, but for the moment, to get it to work or working, we're just going to put the HTML element on the page. And see if it didn't go on the page. Let's put it down here. Here it is. And we can change. For now, we'll put it 20 and 20. But we'll eventually do 1 and 1. And then I found that I can not have it visible on page load and collapse when hidden. That seems to work for me. So now we'll go to the appearance tab. We'll click on the HTML editor and start creating our style sheet. So I'm putting my opening and closing style tags. And then I want to put light mode, a comment, and light mode, and then do another comment, do dark mode. Go back to light mode. And this is where we're going to put in our at media query. This is prefers color scheme. Light. Stuff to see around the microphone. Okay. So everything that we want for light mode, such as page, goes within those curly brackets. And so we want background color. And we're going to do F, 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 E, F, C. Oops, I forgot important. It's important to put important. And then I'm not going to put any text 
for the light mode, but I'm going to copy and paste this into dark mode. Change light to dark. Change the color to two six two six two six, the background color. And I didn't close that page. Because my curly brackets have to match. So now we'll target text on the dark mode using exactly the way that they have spelled it with the capital T and we'll do FFFEFC and important and then close text so just for giggles. Let's go see if that worked. Yay! That worked. Okay. So back to our HTML editor. And up here, above light mode and dark mode, because this clipping on this photo isn't dependent on it being light and dark, we can put it above the media queries or below the media queries so that we only have to put it once. And I have not written out it, what I'm using. And there's a ton of these as a CSS clip path generator. Pick something that's near it, make sure we don't want it too big. Let's do 10%. And it generates our clip path. So we can just copy this. That's just a demo size. It's not the size size. So we can come back and we'll call this. Whoops. We want to make sure it's class that we've set up. So it's dot my hero hero image. We'll paste clip path in both of these. I'll put important. Let's copy it. I'm just going to tab this over so it's <sighs> looks better. So we're going to save this. And now we have to tell this hero image that it needs to look at that. And I've already turned on the ID attribute. If you don't know how to do that, you want to go into settings in general, look for the favicon, and then it's this box way over here that matches expose the option to add an ID attribute. And we want to check that on. And so if we remember from the classify we want a curly bracket add class colon quotation my 
hero image, close quote, close curly bracket. Let's see if that did anything. And it did, yay. Looks a little severe, but that's okay. We can always adjust that. So now let's make sure that this is a view height of 100%. So we want to go back into our HTML editor. And we're going to add to this my hero image. So click at the end of the clip path. And we're going to do view port height. One hundred. Oops. Important. Just going to double check. Oh, no. I did that wrong. <laughs> and you can tell because it's red. So we want to put in height 100 VH. Now that's correct. Let's take a look. There it is. Voila. So we just have to make this content group also 100 VH. Let's go back up. Let's select the group. Let's go to ID, open curly bracket, add class. That's with a capital C. And we'll call this my hero content. Close quote, close curly bracket. I'm going to double click on my hero content so I don't have to retype it. Go back to my HTML editor. I'm going to add the class. So in this case we just need height. So I'm going to copy from the clip path Paste, save, and there we go. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Would love to see your projects. Leave links in the comments. Thank you.